In this lesson, we're going to cover how to perform a sum if function in Google Sheets when your criteria is a cell date value. So in this illustration here, we have client payment history year to date for a fictitious company. And in this first example, we want to perform a sum if function to find the total of the payments where the payment date is greater than June 30th of 2020, this cell date value here. So we're going to begin with the sum if function. Our first input is our criteria range. That is our payment date column. Our second input is our criteria. We want anything greater than the cell date value here. Now, when you're performing a greater than or less than uh, to a cell date value in Google Sheets as your criteria, you need to do two things. One. The symbol needs to be enclosed in double quotes. And secondly, you need to use the and symbol to join that greater than or less than sign to your cell date value. If you don't do this, you'll get an error message. So our final input is the sum range. That is our payment amount column. You can see that gives us a total of $691.19. And if I sum up all the values greater than June 30th, 2020 as a payment date, we should get the same result. And we do. So now we want to perform the same sort of thing, but with a less than cell date value, which is going to be pretty much the exact same way other than our sign. So we're going to perform the sum if our criteria range is our payment date column. Our criteria is our less than symbol enclosed in double quotes, the and symbol to concatenate it to our criteria cell date value. And our sum range is going to be the payment amount column. Easy enough. So now what we'd like to do in this last example is perform a sum if based on a date range, anything that falls between this begin date and end date. And in order to do that, we need to use the sum ifs function because the sum if function singular can only handle one criteria. So we're going to insert the sum ifs plural. Now the inputs are ordered a little bit differently. It begins with the sum range. So our sum range is our payment amount column. Our first criteria range is our payment date column. And our first criteria is anything that is greater than or equal to the begin date of our date range. Our second criteria range is going to be the same as our first criteria range. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in. And this time we want anything that is less than or equal to the end date of our date range. So that gives us a total of $1,087.26. So that is how you can perform a sum if or a sum ifs function in Google Sheets when you have cell date values as your criteria. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.